Hey guys, uh, last video of the night, I think. Uh, I'm not going to test drive this 03 Silverado uh, until tomorrow. Um, the deer are on the move here, um, and it's nighttime, so I don't need to be starting over on this thing. I'll wait until the morning. i got to do some things, make a trip to the recycling center, so I'll take the truck then. But um, I just want to show you this. Um, that black ring of gook and um, that rag there are um, will come out of that throttle body with uh, this cleaner here I don't know if you can actually uh, you can buy this with the counter or not but um, it's pretty much like carb cleaner I think um, and uh, okay so trucks back together um, I hate to even say it out loud guys but I think I got it. Um, fires right up. Way better. Idle. Throttle response is like awesome. I mean, you crack it and it's right there. Um, under load does not drop below 13 volts on the gauge, anyways. Um, just this truck just sounds healthier. Just sounds better. Any way you look at it. Um, so I really think the throttle body plates had a lot to do with a lot of the evil. And we discovered some other evil by accident that needed to be addressed anyways. Um, so I guess with that in mind, I guess we really we really did good things. Um, I'm hoping that the ABS issue is also solved. Um, this wheel bearing on the driver's side... Uh, hadn't been apart before ever and it was very corroded um, compared to the right side wheel bearing it was very obvious that that had been a been apart once before in its life and had done to it what I did to this side tonight so that must be a fairly common uh, fairly common commonly known thing um, uh, maybe you mechanics out there it is I'm not sure but uh, I definitely learned something and I really hope it fixed it um, even if it's just temporary uh, it's a design flaw like many issues are on vehicles it uh, it should be it should be better protected than what it is but it's not so how else do you sell wheel bearings you know um, but uh, I have to put in one one little under hood brace here that I took out in this area here. I gotta put that back back in. I almost forgot about that. And then I need to do some major cleaning. This is pretty awful. For me, this is this never happens. Um, so maybe tomorrow I can start working on golf cart parts, or maybe I can get some silver auto fog lights put together. Or maybe I can get some Silverado headlight brackets repaired. Um, my, uh, um, I got the 05 HD. That's a done deal. Um, real happy about that. Um, I was lucky enough to find a used uh, white fender for the right side for relatively inexpensive. That should be here on Monday. Um, I got a radiator for it today. Um, the only thing I'm missing for it is a grill, and it's an HD grill, uh, so it's a little bit different. Um, it was in some 1500s and 06, 1500 HDs, 2500s, and 07 Classic HDs and um, half tons. Uh, I'm not worried about it. Jefferson swap meets coming up here in Wisconsin pretty quick, so I'll be heading that direction hopefully, or at least sending somebody with some money to look for one for me. Um, so yeah, I'm really really happy that this thing is going to be done here very soon. Um, like I said, I'm going to test drive it tomorrow. I'll use it. I'll drive it like my own. See if the ABS acts up. See if we have a voltage issue. But I'm thinking, uh, like I said one evil kind of led to more and I think for bang for the buck I think this was still the right thing to do these were all issues that still needed to be addressed uh, and they they are they are addressed so um, I'm about at the limit of my mechanical ability I did learn a lot on this little pain in the ass 
Um, but overall, it was worth the experience alone. Um, the alternator had to have been replaced, but it was going to need to be replaced shortly because of bearings. Um, and it didn't charge, it didn't pass the test every time it got tested. So there was some issues. Um, it was kind of the tip of the iceberg. And looking back on it now, I'm okay with that because I learned something out of the deal. And we discovered some rodent damage that we were able to take care of. Um, you know, the truck looks nice. So give another look at it here. I can walk backwards without falling on my butt. Um, but the truck looks really nice now. I mean, it really looks, it's standing pretty tall here. I really like the way it turned out. Um, there's been some money invested in this truck. But, uh, you know, this is an 03 with 115 on it. I, I won't disclose how much money has been invested in this truck in the last couple months. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you the time. But I will tell you this much. Uh, when a brand new Silverado is, you know, of this option level, extended cab four-wheel drive Z71, when a new 2014 like this truck is, um, what are they, 40,000? 44,000 and um, in this truck you can take in the woods and not feel too guilty about it you know it might not be such a bad thing you know um, I don't drive brand new stuff because I can't afford it and even if I could I'd be afraid to drive it so um, it's not such a bad thing to stick some money into these older trucks uh, they all rust out. It doesn't matter if they got 10,000 miles or 210,000 or 310,000. They all will need rockers and cab corners at some point in their life. That's just fact. Just fact. Um, so I uh, get back to my 05. Um, it has a ladder rack on it that I'm trying to sell. I might may potentially have a lead on getting that sold. It will not fit in the garage, in this garage, with that ladder rack on there. Um, so I need to be able to put it in here, you know, when I want to do stuff to it, with it, on it, whatever. Um, I'll bring you that, bring you that on a video. Mm, I could actually go work on it tomorrow and get the radiator in it and get it running and get it movable because it is not movable right now. The transmission cooler is popped and one transmission cooler line and the radiator somehow amazingly enough the AC condenser actually is still good and holding a full charge so I'm leaving it alone um, lower shroud yada yada but I will bring you a video maybe I will do that tomorrow we'll see see how the day goes um, I gotta stop saying um so it makes me sound stupid but uh, anyhow um, last video of the night I'll probably bring you a video tomorrow even if it's just in a test drive on this thing, we'll drive around and have a talk in the morning, have a have a coffee, and we'll make a recycling center run and go from there. But thanks for coming along for the ride. Thanks for your tolerance of the short, little jagged videos. Um, I'm just doing this with a play sport, so I really don't have the option, or at least that I'm aware of, to really do much editing. kind of is what it is. Um, so it is what it is. So take it or leave it. Um, but... Uh, Thanks again, guys. Hope you all have a great weekend. I know mine is off to a really great start knowing that this truck is on its way home. Thanks, guys.